So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about problems involving parallelogram. In example number one, if the measure of the angle G it is equal to 105 degrees, so this is the measurement of the angle G that is 105 degrees, find the measure of remaining angle, so that is angle E, angle M, and angle S. So first, we need to identify the value for the angle M. So angle G, it is congruent to angle M. So it means if angle G is 105 degrees, so it means angle M, that is equal to 105 degrees. How about the measure of the angle E? So the measure of the angle E, the solutions, two consecutive angles are supplementary. So it means angle G plus the angle E, that is equal to 180 degrees. So it means the measure of the angle E, it is equal to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. 180 minus 105 degrees, the answer is equal to 75 degrees. If we add, the two consecutive angles are supplementary, so it means 105 degrees plus 75 degrees, the answer is 180 degrees. If we also add angle E plus the angle M, 75 degrees plus 105 degrees, the measurement, it is equal to 180 degrees. Let us find now the measure of the angle S. So opposite angles are congruent. So it means angle E, it is congruent to angle S. If the value of the angle E, that is equal to 75 degrees, so it means the measurement of the angle S it is equal to 75 degrees. So the remaining angles is 75 degrees, 105 degrees, and 75 degrees. So this is the parallelogram GEMS. If segment GE, that is equal to 3x plus 20 centimeter, and segment SM, that is x plus 40 centimeter, Find the value of X, segment GE, and segment SM. First, we need to identify the value for X. So, line segment GE, it is congruent to line segment SM. So, it means that become GE, it is equal to line segment SM. So, the value of the line segment GE, that is equal to 3X plus 20, and then segment SM, that is X plus 40. First, we need to solve for the value of x. Bring down 3x, move x to the left side, that becomes negative x. Bring down 40, and then move on the right side, that becomes negative 20. 3 minus 1, and that becomes 2x. 40 minus 20, the answer is equal to 20. So to be able to solve for the value of x, let us divide the numerical coefficient by so the numerical coefficient of x, that is 2. So 2 divided by 2, that is x. And 20 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 10. And then the unit, that is centimeter. If the value of x, that is equal to 10 centimeter. Right now, let us identify the segment GE. Segment GE, that is equal to 3x plus 20 centimeter. So let us copy 3x plus 20. Let us replace first the value of x by 10. So that becomes 3 times 10 plus 20. 3 times 10, that is equal to 30 plus 20. The segment GE, that is equal to 50. The unit is centimeter. So that is 50 centimeter. So how about the value of the segment SM? Segment SM, that is equal to x plus 40. Let us replace the value of x by 10. So, segment SM, it is equal to 10 plus 40. And 10 plus 40, the answer is equal to 50 centimeter. So, it means, as you can see, segment GM, it is congruent to segment SM. If the value of the segment GM is 50 centimeter, so pwede nyo nang hindi isold that the value of the segment SM is also equal to 50 
cm. In the parallelogram GEMS, if segment SB, that is equal to 6, so this is segment SB, and segment MG, it is equal to 4, so this is segment MG, find the length of the segment SE and segment BM. So, if segment SB, it is equal to 6, so it means what could be the value of the segment SE? So, SE. So, SB is equal to 6. Segment EB, it is also equal to 6. So, it means segment SE, 6 plus 6, the answer is equal to 12. So, 6 plus 6, segment SE, that is equal to 12. If segment MG, it is equal to 4. So, this is segment MG, that is equal to 4. So, how about the value of the segment BM? So, segment GB, half of the segment MG, so it means 2. So, it means segment BM, the answer is equal to 2. So, segment BM, that is equal to 2. So, what could be the length of the segment SE, that is equal to 12, and the segment BM, that is equal to 2? How about example number 2? In the parallelogram NARD. So, find the equivalent of the following. Letter A, segment NA. So, the opposite of segment NA, that is segment DR. So, it means segment NA, it is congruent to segment DR. Next, how about letter B? Segment ND. So, this is the segment ND. The opposite or the parallel of the segment ND, that is segment AR. So, it means... Segment ND, it is congruent to segment AR. So, this is the segment AR. The measure of the angle N. So, opposite angles are congruent. So, it means measure of the angle N, it is equal to the measure of the angle R. So, measure of the angle R. How about letter D? The measure of the angle A the opposite angles of angle A, that is angle D. So it means the measure of the angle A, it is congruent to the measure of the angle D. So the answer, it is the measure of the angle D. How about letter E? Line segment NO. So this is diagonals bisect each other. It means line segment NO, it is congruent to line segment RO. So this is line segment RO. Letter F, like segment DO. So this is diagonals bisect each other. So it means line segment DO, it is congruent to line segment AO. Let us solve for example number 3. In the parallelogram ABCB, if the measurement of the line segment BO, that is 7 cm, line segment AC, that is 20 cm, line segment AB, that is 15 cm, and the measure of the angle A, that is 50 degrees. Let us find the equivalent of the following. First, what could be the measurement of the angle BCD? First, we need to identify the measurement of the opposite. What could be the opposite of angle C? So that is angle A. So opposite angles are congruent. If the measurement of the angle A, that is 50 degrees, so it means the measurement of the angle C, that is 50 degrees. So what could be the measurement of the angle B, C, D? So that is also equal to 50 degrees. How about letter B? The measurement of the angle C, B, a. So, what could be the solutions? So the solutions, two consecutive angles are supplementary. So, it means the measure of the angle A plus the measure of the angle B, it is equal to 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees minus 50 degrees, that becomes 130 degrees. So, the measure of the angle C, B, A, that is 130 
degrees. How about letter C? The measurement of the angle A, B, C. If the measure of the angle B is 130 degrees, opposite angles are congruent. So it means angle D, it is also equal to 130 degrees. So what could be the measurement of the angle A, B, C? So this is angle A, B, C. So this one. So angle D is 130 degrees. It means the measurement of the angle A, B, C. It is also equal to 130 degrees. How about letter D? The measurement of the line segment DC. So this is line segment DC. So it means line segment AB, it is congruent to line segment DC. If the measurement of the line segment AB, that is 15 centimeter, so it means line segment DC, it is also equal to 15 centimeter. How about letter E? The measurement of the segment AO. So this is line segment AO. If the line segment AC, that is 20 centimeter, so it means half of the line segment AC because diagonals bisect each other. So it means line segment AO, half, that is equal to 10 centimeter. How about letter F? line segment BD. So this is line segment BD. If line segment BO is 7 cm and line segment BO that is also 7 cm because diagonals bisect each other. So how about line segment BD? So we need to add 7 plus 7. The answer is 14 cm. So line segment BD that is equal to 14 cm. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Clarissa Tubal. Thank you so much.